Hey y'all, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. Finally getting back into this. So let's go on to Zoso. Yeah, I still remember this area pretty well, I think. Yep, random encounters in this town. But I got a preemptive strike, and that's always good. Duh. Remember how this works. Raging Fist. Yeah, so for anyone who's, who's not aware, part of the reason um, I was away from my Let's Plays for so long. So no, I've got this and I've still got Doom 2 as well that I need to hurry up and finish at some point eventually. Um, for one thing, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out. <laughs> so I was playing that for quite a bit. And then a bunch of other stuff happened. So, so, never heard of it. Yeah, the theme of this town is like everybody lies. Um, so around the beginning of July, it's currently like middle of August as of recording this. Um, my air conditioning went out. Well, not just that, a uh, storm blew through during the end of June, I think. And uh, knocked like a tree down and I don't know, it's it a big cluster. It was, it was pretty rough there for a while, but we got power back on, got the tree dealt with, then my AC just straight up went out. And yeah, it took, uh, we were attempting to use a home warranty, which we pay $50 a month for, to fix this air conditioner. Okay, for any first time homeowners, let me just tell you, or if you're planning on owning a home eventually, don't don't do a home warranty. Just just don't do it. Put back the whatever money you would pay a home warranty company to be on standby if you know any of your shit breaks. I know you can talk to this guy. Or I thought you could. Okay. Whatever money you would be paying that person, just put that on the side in like its own little uh, separate fund or whatever if you have a separate savings account for it do that and just store that money away for in case shit breaks to where you can actually pay somebody to fix it it will be more expensive but it's better to just pay the money and get your shit fixed great people here you can trust everything they say yeah that's what I thought I could do for uh, first American home warranty the second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. Oh yeah, there's a puzzle you have to do to get a chainsaw for Edgar. That's fun. Uh, let's see. I'll just defend with you. Why do I have two bio blasters? That's funny. So yeah, once uh, I can finally get my wife on board with like saying, let's just screw trying to go through the warranty and pay somebody to fix our AC. We're finally back in our house. And I can kind of resume streaming and Let's Plays and stuff like that a little bit. Especially with her being on nights now. My, uh... There's not as much pressure to spend time with her when she's at work. <laughs> so in the evening time, I can get a few minutes of recording in. Not that I don't enjoy spending time with my wife, but, you know, I kind of like doing this, too. Uh, let's see. I just defend with you. I'll go ahead and cast Cure and lock. Top his health off a little bit. Oh, damn. Ow. Oh, yeah. I forget. Um, got level 2 magics here. Uh, do I have... Whatchamacallit? Phoenix down. There we go.
I'll use magic to start off with, and when I start getting low on magic, I'll use my items. Ooh. Her magic is already just 11. That's not good. Do I have an ether? I do. Just a couple of those. Alright, cool. We good. Uh, nothing to do out here. Yeah, and just, uh, it's been a hell of a year. And on top of all, you know, the other stuff, it's, you know, been a struggle with mental health and all that. I'm going to tell, you know, anybody, you know, your mental health is important. Take care of yourself. Do whatever you have to do if you're in a bad place to get out of it. Whether that means exercise or talking to a friend, confiding in somebody, talking to a therapist. You know, it's, it's worth every damn penny, I can tell you, firsthand. And sometimes it takes a combination of those things, you know? And know that no matter what you're struggling with, you are not alone. The door is rusted shut. Well, that's going to be a thing later in the game. Oh, ouch. That hurt, I'm sure. It hurt really bad, actually. Get drilled. Let's see. Um, abilities. Cure. How do I... There we go. That'll do. Woohoo! Well, let me go! I can run fast! Woohoo! Man, these chicks are everywhere. Damn! Let me see here. Oh, never mind. So, Sobin can one shot those things with an Aura Bolt. Or Aura Cannon, whatever, whatever it's called in this game. Aura Cannon. I'm gonna run out of feeding sounds for this over with. <laughs> it's a tough area. These dudes can heal themselves, and they can steal from you, I think. Nice. What were you doing with that woman lying there? This place is dangerous. Be careful, and don't go doing anything stupid like trying to jump between the buildings. Oh, well, since you told me not to do it, I'm definitely doing it now. People just laying around in the streets, that's... Sheesh. Okay, yeah. Uh, the clock's hands have stopped. Set the hour hand. I'm just doing this off of memory, so... Set the minute hand. Ooh. I don't remember. Ah! Yes, I do. Nice. And this is the way to... The chain shawl. A CHAINSHAW! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get, get a little excited. Well, let's sort these items. Yeah. So the chainsaw is a really nice tool that has been added to Edgar's uh, arsenal now. It's probably going to be his strongest attack for a while. Oh shit. Can I just run? Ah. There's the fun in that. Let me see here. Actually, 
actually get in the other row. Row and row. Everybody just back up. There we go. Oh, uh, let's see here. Well, she's dead. Lovely. Oh, nice. Look at that damage. That is so cool. And occasionally he'll do an instant death strike with it where he uh, puts on a Jason mask. And uh, it's a slightly different animation, or at least it was in the Super Nintendo version. It might be different in the Pixel Remaster. Nice, Edgar leveled up. Got the chainsaw. Very happy about that. Is there stuff over here? I think there is. Ooh! A hill gigas. A gigas from the hills. For some reason, I remember Locke being a little bit stronger. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's going to hurt everybody. But how bad? Oh! Okay, didn't kill anyone. Good. Uh, abilities. Always make sure you have a healer. A.K.A. Celeste. At this point in the game, anyway. Let's see, armor shop. Do that. I love how Edgar just violently spins with the chainsaw, like a freaking maniac. A barrier ring, okay. And what is this? A potion? I like how this enemy is called a gobbledygook. It makes no sense. Why did I just use Noise Blaster? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Just wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Well, maybe it'll do something. But it confused one of them. And I'm hitting him now. And... Oh, it confused all of them. Nice. They're just throwing wrenches at each other. That's, that's kind of funny. Sweet. Clock's hand is pointing at the two. Doesn't even tell you which hand. That clock doesn't have a minute hand. Of course, it never points at the right time anyway. <laughs> Preemptive strike. Very nice. Let's kill you first. Uh, runic. I don't know what I just picked with him. I stopped paying attention for like a second, but kept doing things. Oh well. Oh, chainsaw, okay. 
That works. What just happened there? Don't even know. Well, let's see. Wasn't there something up here, maybe? Maybe not. thought there was. I could have swore there was like a thief knife or something in this area, but whatever. I wonder what I can steal from you. Oh, nice. Insta-kill. I'll take it. down this way. Use Bio Blaster, I guess. I'm ready for Sabin to get the Fire Dance Blitz. That's like the first one he gets this like multi-hitting and it's really useful when you get it. But that's probably going to be a while. Uh, yeah. Sweet. I love this jazzy music, too. I always kind of like coming to this area of the game. Dude's just using a high potion before he even gets hit. It's kind of funny. Sabin learned Rising Fist. Oh! He learned... Well, I spoke it into existence, I guess. It was called Fire Dance in the original version. Or the original translation, anyway. Huh. Sure enough. Okay. I thought it... I forgot he learned it at level uh, 15, apparently. Okay. Hey, that's cool. Let's see. What do you have to say? Girl? Nope. I haven't seen any girls lately. And there's definitely not one on the top floor of this building, so don't bother checking. <laughs> Whatever you say, bud. Defend. Attack. Yeah, let's use this. Sweet. This should do pretty decent damage. Oh wow, I love the effects of the Pixel Remaster. It looks way cooler now. <laughs> nice. Really, you gonna be like that? Okay. Okay. You can't dodge this. Very cool. Oh, was I going in here? Yes, I was. What do you guys say? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Better be getting home. Phew. How long do we have to keep this up? <laughs> I don't get that. Or well, whatever. up here. 
so sweet. Brigand, brigand's glove, whatever. Uh, let's see what that is. What's it do? A leather glove designed to aid in banditry changes the steel command to mug. Okay, so it's basically steel with an attack. All right. Well, what do I have on you? Hyper wrist and a Genji glove. Yeah, that's better than this other thing would be. So that's fine. I thought you got something like that here. And for some reason, I thought it was in a different area. That's memory for you. Remember how they said not to jump through the windows? <laughs> or jump from window to window? Uh, we'll just do that. Ooh, critical hit, nice. I love how the Hill Gigas is wearing like tidy whities <laughs> Shamelessly. Whew, I'm gonna have to use another ether. But that's what they're there for. Uh, no, don't load. There we go. Hmm. What happens if I talk to you back here? My watch's second hand is pointing at the four. Bullshit. Back attack, damn. I'm not gonna bother going into a separate row. I'm just gonna go for it. It is so easy to pull off blitzes in this uh, version of the game, but I like it a lot better. Because from what I remember, the blitzes were fairly easy to mess up and fail, and a lot of, you wouldn't know you had failed it until he actually went to launch the attack, and then it would do nothing. I think you can steal high potions from these guys. I should probably be doing that. I'm trying to do it. Nice. And Lock and Egger level up. Which way did I come from? Yeah. No, I wasn't fast enough. Damn. <laughs> there. Edgar just one shot and everything with the chainsaw now. Seconds, they're divisible by 20. Basically, like if you take everything that they all tell you and then go with whatever they no one told you, then that's the answer, I want to say. Because every one of them lies. Oh, let's see. Tools, chainsaw, your face. 
Oh, I should have tried to steal. Oh well. It's fine. I use noise blasters for shits and giggles. See if I can steal high potions from these guys. Silver spectacles, okay, wasn't expecting to get that. Yeah, whatever. Just punch something. Yeah, preferably that guy. More silver spectacles, okay. What? You tried to steal from me? We ain't having that. I'm the one who steals. <laughs> I love that rug. I wonder where they got it from. Maybe at home or something. <laughs> ah, defend. Blitz. Rising Phoenix. Uh, steal from... Oh, I meant to do the other guy, but whatever. And flash. Whatever. Who cares? It's all damage. You know what? I haven't meteor striked anybody in a while. Let's do that. <laughs> Getting close to the boss up there. Burning Fist. I assume that's a weapon for... no? What is a burning fist and what does it do? Okay, why didn't I see that for him then? Oh, I, because I'm a little stupid. Okay. Yeah, it was the first thing and I just wasn't just wasn't seeing it. What are uh what do the silver spectacles do? Prevents darkness, okay. Uh Sure, I'll throw that on him, especially now that he has uh, a weapon that can cast magic. Okay. Everybody's health and stuff is looking good enough, so just roll with it. See that guy? He doesn't look sus at all. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I am sorry. I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate to be, for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? <laughs> Dada Luma. I can't remember what all he can do, so I'll just ruin it anyway. Um, or a cannon. Tools. Do chainsaw. And I'll see if I can steal anything from him. A jeweled ring, cool. Oh shit, he stole like all of my money. I'll get it back once I kill him. I don't think he'll have anything else. Oh yeah, he can do that. <laughs> What else can I do to you? Can I do imp on you? Ha! Ah, it worked. That's hilarious.
He's basically powerless now. Oh, poison healed the one guy. That sucks. Easy. Not even close. Got a twist headband for my efforts. All right, so. What was he guarding up here? Hermes Sandals. An X Potion. But what else? <gasps> Look who it is! Frightened. Who to say? Who that? Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she all right? So her name is Tara. Tara. Interesting. Oh. He's getting the zoomies. <laughs> Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Ramu, the Esper Ramu. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you, without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and Espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and espers used to live together in harmony. At least, until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other espers. After that meaningless war had ended, the espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of espers, and I missed that last part, and thus began the hunt. For Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. She seems to have calmed down a little. I called Tara here to me when I sensed that she'd lost control. She responded to that call. So Tara's an Esper?
No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestal's Magitech Research Facility may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? The Magitech Research Facility. Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's powers by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Oh, he did. <laughs> You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself into Magicite. He gave up his life to help us. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second War of the Magi. Obtained Ramu Magicite. Obtained Gatesith Magicite, or Ketchi. Obtained Siren Magicite, and obtained Kirin Magicite. All right, heavy stuff going on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you hopefully fairly soon with the next episode of Final Fantasy VI. Until then, y'all take care. And always remember, you are enough.